Do you experience throat tightness when singing or speaking? In this video, I will explain what exactly is happening in your throat when you experience tightness and I will demonstrate exercises to relax throat muscles. So don't go away because we are starting right after this. Hi, I am Katarina, speech language pathologist from How to Improve Singing and here on this channel I share practical tips about using your voice in a healthy way. So, if this is a topic that interests you, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now, let's talk about throat tightness. In this video, I am talking about throat tightness when singing, but the same principles can be applied to a speaking voice. Actually, the, the exercise that I will introduce later in this video has been used in voice therapy by speech-language pathologists for a very long time now. And because it is an effective method at releasing throat tension, it was adapted into singing practice. So, whether you are a singer or a speaker who experiences throat tightness, stick around. It's very common to experience uh, throat tightness when you are learning to sing. If you never experience throat tightness while singing, you haven't tried enough. This may happen especially when you sing in your higher vocal range, when you sing louder or even when you are anxious or stressed. But the goal of a singer is to learn how to eliminate the, this throat tension and free your voice of any vocal strain to allow your voice function optimally. So why is this happening? Whether you speak or sing, throat tension generally happens when there is involvement of too much muscle force or too much physical effort in the systems of respiration, phonation and resonance. So in the systems of breathing, which includes your breathing muscles and your lungs, uh, in the system of sound production, which is the level of the vocal folds, and in the system of resonance, which includes the rest of the vocal tract above the vocal folds. If you notice this definition, throat tension can come from any system of the vocal mechanism, not just from the vocal folds themselves. You may experience throat tension because your breathing is inefficient in supporting the voice during demanding vocal tasks. Or you may experience tension because your vocal folds squeeze too much or you may feel tense because there is too much constriction uh, in the pharynx, which is your throat, tongue or jaw. In other words, you experience throat tension because you are engaging muscles that are not necessary for sound production or you engage muscles intended for sound production with too much force. So, for example, as you are ascending in your range, uh, you may feel the need to control the muscles of your throat to produce high notes and you end up engaging extrinsic muscles of the neck instead of letting the intrinsic muscles of the larynx do the job. So what exactly is happening in your throat when the throat feels tight? Well, I cannot really tell exactly what is going on in your throat, but the research tells us that the hyoid bone and the larynx are elevated in people with throat tension. The hyoid bone is a U-shaped bone in your neck, right under your chin, and your larynx is a complex structure inside your neck that houses the voice box or the vocal folds. The larynx is suspended from the hyoid bone, so when the hyoid bone is raised, the voice box moves up too. 
and when larynx is elevated, your vocal tract is shorter and your pharyngeal space, which is your throat, decreases too. And this affects the resonation properties of your voice. Practically, it means that your voice loses richness or volume. It is also believed that the decreased space in your throat directly affects the vocal folds themselves, which press more against each other, like in pressed or tight phonation, resulting in rigid or harsh sound. So, the logical treatment for throat tightness would be an exercise or uh, an action that improves the laryngeal position and opens up the throat, which releases tension from the throat muscles. Let me show you a series of exercises that speech-language pathologists have been using for a long time now to release throat tightness in patients with hyperfunctional voice disorders, muscle tension dysphonias, and similar problems. It's called yawn and sigh exercises. Singers may be familiar with the use of yawn in singing as it opens up the throat. But a full-blown yawn brings more tension than muscle release. I am sure you know what I am talking about because it's difficult to talk when you yawn. Instead, the exercise uses the beginning of a yawn to achieve throat relaxation. The muscle action at the beginning of a yawn is in the direct opposition to throat tightness. So let's do the exercise. Step number one, place your hand gently on the throat and start yawning with your mouth open. You can see on my neck how the larynx is moving down. Step number two, with your hand still on the throat, start yawning, but this time keep your mouth fairly closed. Imagine you are watching a very boring presentation and you don't want other people to see you yawning, but only do the beginning of a yawn. Notice how the larynx moves down and maybe you can also feel how your throat widens. Step three. Sigh with an open mouth in a comfortable vocal range. The sound produced on a sigh should feel and sound relaxed. Try to keep the larynx in a lowered position when you start the sigh. You want to produce the sound with relaxed muscles or released muscles that you achieve during the yawn phase. If you feel the larynx move up as soon as you start the sound, try again. Maintain the relaxed and low larynx position. Step four, once you know how to do the previous three steps consistently, then use the sigh to initiate singing or talking. For example, sing a five-note descending scale on the vowel U with the yawn sigh technique, like this. Or if you want to practice speech, say words or sentences uh, that start with the letter H on the yawn and sigh, like this. Hey, hi, house, Homer was a happy hamster. Do this exercise daily, either as a standalone exercise or as a part of your warm-up vocal routine before singing to release throat tension. Bonus tip! Add 
self-administered laryngeal massage to your daily routine to release muscle tension in your larynx and your throat. This massage is good for reducing laryngeal tension or just for resetting your larynx after a long day of vocal use. I made a video about laryngeal massage that you can watch by clicking this link or a link below this video. Laryngeal massage may not be for everyone, but I highly recommend that you try it. It took me several tries to really like it and now it became a part of my regular routine. Now, in the comments below, let me know how you did with the yawn sigh exercise. Were you able to release muscle tension from the throat? I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions, post them below and I will make sure to answer them. If you found this video useful, click the like button and share it with uh, your friends who may benefit from this information. Subscribe to my channel because next time, next week, I am talking about preventing vocal strain and you don't want to miss that video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!